The island of Sjö is one of the biggest islands along the Swedish west coast, only a 45 minute drive from Gothenburg. In summer, the inhabitants and visitors live a bustling island life that changes completely in winter. Gone is the traffic and the holiday makers, leaving just silence and tranquility. This makes one of my favorite times of the year to go paddling. Setting off from an empty frosty beach with a low standing sun that creates that unique Nordic light, the snow-covered granite islands have transformed the landscape into a very different scenery. It's hard to imagine anything else that is closer to meditation than kayaking here in wintertime. You're gonna get what you need. Just close your eyes and fall asleep. I worked my way up towards the northerly parts of the Schoen Island, passing by only one lonesome fisherman and his boat, a couple of sleepy fishing villages, and meet no one else along the way. The sensation of being out here all alone is mind-blowing. Being safe in my kayak this time of the year is of course key. Ever since I went on a solo expedition around the Swedish coastline that took me 66 days to complete, I've always enjoyed the freedom of kayaking on my own. But with this being said, without the right paddling skills, knowledge about how to dress and act in colder temperatures, you should always let someone accompany you should you wish to explore West Sweden this time of the year. There are plenty of outfitters in the area who can guide and help you out. Thanks to the right of public access, you are allowed to stop for a break or pitch your tent for one night almost everywhere you like as long as you don't destroy nature or disturb other animals or people. But remember that it comes with responsibility and you should leave no trace behind you. And what better way to end the day than with a cup of hot chocolate and a cinnamon bun while watching the sun dipping down into the cold sea. A proper Swedish vegan.